Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. And the last video we did was how to get Ice Cap in Winter Spring as well as a chance at a Black Lotus. So this video pairs very, very nicely with the one before it. And it pairs nicely because you miss a lot of Dream Foil in um, Winter Spring. So coming to Ajara to farm it is really, really nice. And so here's what I like to do and make a pretty good amount of gold in an hour. So I'm going to show you that. Pair it together similar to how we paired the Angora one with the Plague Bloom to make those mongoose. This one makes arcane elixirs as well as mana pods. So this is definitely more caster based herbalism opposed to... Um, the melee based. So what I like to do is I'll fly into Ajara and then I will go down here along this entire route then back around up top here. I go around the ruins because they're a pain to get through and then I go around the pretty much the entire perimeter of the map and then just loop back. One loop you can do in about 15 minutes depending on herbs, um, combat, things you run into and fight. And something that I really, really like about this path is the mobs here are not max level, so you don't have to worry about them attacking you and being good. Um, the only thing that I really avoid and not pick up is Purple Lotus. I don't see a point in grabbing it. It's pretty much useless. You can pick it up to vendor if you really, really want to or haven't found anything, um, but that's up to you. Sungrass is pretty helpful. Um... It's used in a lot of uh, lesser potions, like not like mid tier, mid tier, not the in game ones, but it comes in handy for health pots and some other PvP potions. So at the end, we'll go into that in more detail. But we've already found Dreamfoil. We're off to an amazing start. In one minute, we found three Sun Grass and one Dreamfoil. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, right now Dreamfoil is selling for 60 silver per, and Sungrass is at 25 silver. So it's pretty high potential to get a lot of uh, money here. Um, with world PvP going on, there's not that many people that are in-world herbing. Um, and as well as you have the chance to find some Mountain Silver Sage, um, that can be useful as well. Golden Sand Sam is also abundant here. I don't pick up all of them just in the spots where Dream Foil can be because or Mountain Silver Sage because they share a spawn with it. So if you pick it up, um, it can, uh, if you grab it, it will have the potential to respawn as one of the others. So it's pretty nice and I just like to roam these fields. Um, when you're around where Zergo spawns here at Lake Minar, you will run into some high-level mobs. And those mobs are elite blue dragons that can kill you pretty easily, especially if you're not max level. You don't have to be max level to come here to farm. Probably um, around 55 would be good. But because of the vast area that you cover, you're probably going to want to be max level and have epic writing to make your herbalism that much quicker. Because the people that are going to be out here going for herbalism and have been training this and doing this for a while, they're going to have their epic mounts. So it's going to be tough to compete if you're on a regular mount. I would honestly say just go to Dire Mall East at that point. But yeah, anyway guys, that's kind of it. I don't um think there's anything else really too intensive about this as you can see we're just going along the route we've gotten pretty lucky looks like a lot of the spawns are up we're doing this at 3 30 p.m on a saturday so you know to me that's peak hours where people are out playing the game but pvp has kind of deterred a lot of people from farming so right now is a great time to get out there and farm and see what you can get like Kagar's Whisker, that's decent, not the best. Um, it's another mid-tier herb with Sungrass. I'm not sure exactly what we can use uh, potion-wise for it, but always worth picking it up sometimes. But anyway, guys, we will fast forward to the end and point out anything of note that we run into along the way. 
And yeah, guys, I will see you then. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so the farm has gone pretty freaking good. Something important that I want to make sure you're aware of is there are Timber Maw people here. They're only level 45 and 46, but there's a lot of good herbing in this area. Obviously with Timber Maw, you can get reputation. You can become uh, unfriendly with them and they will not attack you. Um, honestly, I've pretty much only Timber Maw on my Mage, which is my main, so I haven't really done anything with them on my Priest. So you can definitely run into a uh, a lot of timber maw here. Um, the reason you still want to come up here is for Mountain Silver Sage. The timber maw kind of are in the whole area surrounding the mountains here, and Mountain Silver Sage is really really good. There's also a solid chests that can spawn in a lot of these areas, so I would definitely recommend getting on friendly with them. I need to do it just so I can get these chests. There are multiple of them, and they can contain some pretty decent loot that's of value. Their drop rate is um, completely random, so they can have a lot of stuff, or they could have hardly anything at all. You'll just have to see for yourself, but as far as going here, just if you're not um, unfriendly, at the very least, with Timber Maw, be careful. Do not attack them. You'll regret it. They're great um, reps. And faction to get um, up there and not be unfriendly or hated with so if you attack them and kill them you're putting yourself back a few steps as far as getting those reps for any profession or anything that you might encounter later but I do find that not a lot of people a lot of people just straight up avoid this area when they're herbing if they don't have it but they're pretty low level like they're 46s to 52s so they're not going to attack you unless you stand on them so they're definitely avoidable but yeah just wanted to quickly note that i forgot that i wasn't unfriendly with them on my priest um there's an example of another chest right there so we've seen two chests that i could be getting if i was not um unfriendly with them i believe another chest spawns in that area too right over here i know i've gotten it on my mage i just don't see it up right now because we saw those other two but yeah guys just want to let you know about that and i believe that's the really it for the danger zones and what you can run into for this area so anyway, we'll finish up this video and I will show you the results of our herbing and how well it did. See you then guys. Whoop! Alrighty guys, we are back here, finished after an hour of farming. The farming went pretty freaking well, I'd say. Um, we're just going to finish up the loop when I get back to the flight point because we ended all the way out here. I think we got about four laps done. Uh, three, I guess three and a half done in an hour. So pretty good. Takes about 20 or so minutes per lap. We're just going to loop around here. If we get back to there, pick any herbs we get. I'll keep the counter up just so you guys can see that real time. But we ended with about 33 gold in one hour of herbing. We were able to loot 99 things with those herbs right there. So that's really freaking good. Um, he doesn't really tell us how many nodes we could have picked because it counts items looted. So, like, because we got two Silver Sage, it went up two there. So, it's a bit hard to say exactly how many nodes I was able to get. But it was probably around 30 or so. So, I think that's a really good sample size. And we're midday on a weekend right now. Like, we found a lot of herbs for this. We got a lot of Dream Foil um some pretty good mountain silver sage a whole stack of sungrass in shenzhen uh sand sam and some kagar's whisker um fa past a few purple lotuses but like i said i don't really pick those up unless i see a good reason to but we can open up our elk here while we're running and look at that we can make 11 greater arcane elixirs 11 major mana pots um we're actually short on Dreamfoil to sort of combine both of these to get the absolute most that we can. Um, we can make some major healing potions, which are selling for about one gold each. Rogues can get those pretty easily, so we don't really like to 
get those. Uh, we don't make those because the Mountain Silver Sage can be used for a lot uh, better things. But yeah, guys, anyway, you can get a ton of Dream Foil here, a little bit of Silver Sage, and you can put the Dream Foil together with the Silver Sage and or the Ice Cap for greater Arcane Elixirs or the easier one to get as um, the Mana Pots. Greater Arcanes just take three Dream Foil and one Silver Sage, so it's sort of a Dream Foil only sink. Um, so if you're just looking to make those, you farm here only, and you'll pretty much make it perfect, honestly, at a three to one ratio. If major healing potions were better, you could use the Golden Sand Sam with the Silver Sage. That really just depends on your server, guys. My server, it is not worth it at all. But anyway, guys, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching this vi uh, video. I hope this helps you get your uh, potions and flasks for raiding. And just to be clear, this one goes so well with the Winter Spring guide. And then the Angoro Crater and the Plague Bloom guide go very nicely together to ultimately make a lot more gold than them individually. So I hope this helped you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with like one person you know because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. Really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.